Today I visited a Dollar Tree I had never been in before. Stay tuned so that I can share with you everything that I hold. Danielle Walcott here and welcome, welcome back to my channel. Listen, I shared with you in the opening sequence that I discovered a new Dollar Tree in which I visited today and I just wanted to share with you some of the things that I found in that store. Now, to be honest, I was under the impression that most Dollar Trees, if not all Dollar Trees, sold about the same things or stocked about the same things. But I will tell you, some of the things that I found in this Dollar Tree, the new Dollar Tree, are not in my store. And so one of the things that I was impressed with with this Dollar Tree, the new one that I went to today up in Johns Creek, Georgia, was that they were beginning to stock a lot of spring things. So as you walked in the store, you were just enveloped in a sea of pinks and greens and turquoise and yellow and almost in every aisle you could have found something to match that color scheme. And so today I'm going to share with you some of those things that I found and just give you maybe a little inkling about some of the things I plan to do with the treasures that I found in that Dollar Tree today. And so keeping with the spring theme, I'm going to share with you these platters. I got three of them simply because I just love the colors. They also had um, one in orange, I believe, and there was one in red, but I didn't like them because they were orange, orange, like true orange and red, red. And to me, those colors did not fit the spring theme. And so I got one in the green, lime green. I got one in turquoise blue, and I also got one in the fuchsia pink and I am going to use these no not in my kitchen but actually to create a gift for some of the young adults in my life and I look forward to sharing that product with you I also was able to find these stickers where you usually find the what do I want to say edification like the scriptures um, uh, where they talk about love and family and blessings and faith in the home section. And in that area, I was able to find these stickers, just plain old letters, but they were embellished, some of them with gold, some of them with spirals, some of them with a chevron pattern. Um, there was this very pastel-like one, which I'm very anxious to use. Then we had this one, plain letters, but I love the colors. And we also had this one that was a little bit more tone toned down than the others. And you had your blues and your greens and your grays pretty much for use with a boy. Whereas these, I would think you would want to use with a girl. They're kind of a little bit more girly, but following that spring color scheme. I was also able to find these large stickers. Here we have some butterflies. I got two packets of these. And here we have just some plain old polka dots. But if you see, you can look and you can just I mean, it's just spring. It just makes you happy. Looking at these colors just makes you want to go outside and run and frolic and roll around in the grass. Does it not? It does me, anyway. So I was happy when I found these. So I got two packets of each one. And then I hit, when I tell y'all, the mother load, the mother load um, in stickers in their crafting aisle. I mean, stickers galore, rhinestone stickers, butterfly stickers, colored rhinestones, colored pearls. I mean, you name it, they had it. And whereas I may not be using all of these um, stickers to do my arts and craft, as teachers, we know, especially in the elementary um, grade school, we know that we keep, what is it? treasure boxes in our classroom and so my treasure box is going to be really stacked with some of these 
um, stickers and I know my students will really enjoy them because they're still at that age in fifth grade, nine, ten years old where they still like to play with stickers and they still like to embellish the things that they use. I was always a, I was also, pardon me, able to find some shells. You guys know me coming from the Caribbean, being a beach girl, I could live, sleep, eat by the beach all day. I was able to find these bags of shells and I got so excited because I know exactly what I want to do with these and that project you'll have to wait for and I will create a video sharing with you what I plan to do with these shells. And so any day that you're away from the beach where you can put your hand on some shells is a pretty good day in my book. Thank you Dollar Tree. And these I am so excited about and sorry for the glare if it, it catches you in your eye but these are chrome plated serving trays now some of you might just say oh yeah they're just serving trays but when I look at these I see potential for glamour I see bling I see diamond wrap I see candlesticks and I think I'm gonna tell you no more because I might just give it away but these and I wish you could feel them you can hear them they have some heft to them this is these are not like the foil ones that they usually have or the light plastic ones that are just spray painted with this color no these are heavy they have some weight to them and whatever I plan to do with them I know it is going to last for a long time so I got four of the oval ones and then I also got four of the rectangle ones not a bad eight dollars also, I found this candle holder. Now, I am not too, what can I say, keen on some of the glass stuff that they sell at the Dollar Tree because some of it is very light. And I have had Dollar Tree glasses, you know, that you drink out of break in my hand while, or, or at my face while I'm drinking out of it. But I was very impressed when I found this because like those serving trays, this also has some heft to it. It has some weight to it. And so immediately when I looked at it and also when I felt it, I knew already what I was going to do with this. I am going to embellish it and make an even more beautiful candle holder than it already is. And then I'll say no more, but you're gonna have to stay tuned and make sure you are subscribed with your notification set so that when my arts and craft videos do start to roll out you will be able to be one of the first people to see them and last but not least that I would like to share with you oh well not last but not least yet but I want to say this listen here are some of the elusive diamond wrap that we crafters look for at the Dollar Tree and are very seldom able to find them I went to this dollar store and I must say I was impressed because I was able to put my hands on three of the lime green ones, one of the turquoise ones, and two of the red ones. Of course, there was no plain old diamond wrap, the plain old rhinestone one, of course, because, you know, we crafters eat it up. Um, by the spoon and so when it's there we're gonna buy it up so I was unable to get any of the plain old ones um, I shouldn't say plain old ones but you know what I'm saying the diamond wrap the the rhinestone diamond wrap but I was excited that I was able to get my hand on some colored ones and now last but not least I was able to put my hands on these little nameplates, which I'm very excited that I found because when I went to the Hobby Lobby, I saw some of these very same things, of course embellished, of course decorated, but they were selling one, one of these for $4.99. Can you imagine? $4.99 where I was able to get one at the dollar store for a dollar and using some of my crafting magic and the very things that I have in my home I will be able to decorate this and set it out and make it look just as or a little bit more expensive than the ones that they're selling at Hobby Lobby for five dollars so I got these and I was able to put my hands 
in the spring theme on this gravel, which I'm so excited because I know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm not going to tell you. On some gravel, turquoise blue, lime, sea, lime green, green, and I don't know. I just look at these colors and they make me so happy. Spring is in the air. Boo to the pollen, but yes to the spring. And so I'm excited. I was happy with what I was able to put my hands on in that dollar store. For those of you who are in Georgia, in the Metro Atlanta area, if you're wondering, that is the Dollar Tree in Johns Creek. They have some very neat stuff, all of which, of course, I have not shown you. But if you're in the market for Dollar Tree items, please be sure to go visit and make sure that you are tuned in to my channel because when I put my little magic fingers to work, you will not want to miss the things that I am going to create. Until next time, this has been Danielle. Make sure you are subscribed. Please be sure to like this video, make a comment, share this video, and until next time, be well.